It has become increasingly common, especially with the exponential rise of indie endeavors, to find games whose story world involves religious or spiritual imagery. These are games that focus on telling stories the folkloric way, frequently depicting a singular art style and expositional narrative regarding cosmological or existential principles based on ancient knowledge. Such is the case of The Mooseman, a brief game developed and published independently by Vladimir Beletsky, a Russian young man who took on his first game-making challenge with this title and the aid of Mikhail Shvachko. At its generic core, The Mooseman is an adventure game with bits and pieces of puzzle solving. However, the game feels rather like a micro-encyclopedia on perm-animal-style folk art, like an archaeological exposition with tints of a narrative. The narrative is actually present to reinforce a sense of discovery, or a gradual contact with a piece of history that is very particular to a certain area in folk. In this case, the concept follows the many images found in Permian castings of zoomorphic and anthropomorphic figures that emerged in the Urals from about the 7th to the 5th century BCE. They usually served as decorative implements and were recovered from burial sites and historical settlements in general, but are also thought to have carried sacred and ritual relevance. One of the most common figures found in such castings is that of the Elk also seen in hybrid representations with human shapes. The Mooseman as a player character comes from that hybridization. He is on a quest to blend with his world, with the landscape and the forgotten spirits that inhabit it. He is the Link, the shamanistic figure in the specific portrayal from the game, and tracks across three cosmic worlds, following the age-old idea of the World Tree and the trial of death needed in order to attain enlightenment. The visual style is quite appeasing, if we ragged in its lines, not feeling that fitting with the soothing soundtrack at times. The 2D nature of it adds to the mythological aura that the story world bears. Fundamentally speaking, everything here looks and sounds folkish, and in that sense, the developers were successful. The game world system is only an interactive shell for an otherwise storytelling venture. The player can press space in order to switch between material and spiritual worlds seen by the Mooseman. Both worlds reveal their particular elements of the explorable space, most of them important for engagement and progression. The puzzles are simplistic, but that simplicity allows for a more dedicated contemplation of its art style. The world switching mechanics, despite making it somewhat more challenging, is not that much of a novelty or compelling gameplay asset, and sometimes can actually ease the solving of puzzles even further, instead of making them more complex and dynamic. And in that regard, the puzzles themselves are one-dimensional in that they are mostly related to finding artifacts, the game's main source of information on the historical and archaeological relevance of animal-style castings. Linearity seems to be the defining factor of exploration early in the game, although branching paths become more common later on, and following one or another becomes a matter of switching between world views. It's a more sensible way to make the mechanics play a bigger part, and it actually works from a completionist standpoint, since the differing paths have virtually the same importance, reveal secrets and information of equal value, and converge towards a main route. Aesthetic contemplation is as important as patience in the movement, one from a purely audiovisual standpoint and the other from a mechanical one. It's an experience of minimally interactive learning that feels like a walk at the State Hermitage Museum. Whether or not this possible duality of interests should oppose each other in the player's mind is open for debate and ultimately comes down to personal taste. And that may be the initial impression that one can have when playing it but unlikely to be the last one.